him here, uh, uh, which would be about the, where the front door of his house was. Yes, I, I remember it so well. It was a thatched house, clay walls, uh, and up there was the parlour. And you never, you never were allowed in, into the parlour. <laughs> that, 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 that was the sacrosanct place in the house. Here w was the kitchen area. Down, down lower, down here to my to my right, was Mag's his sister Mag's uh, bedroom, and Lara slept up on the loft. Lara Edmund was was an amazing man. But now remember that there was Mag and Dan and Lara, and they had a sister Jane who 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 uh, escaped uh, uh, the, the economic crisis and 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 went went off emigrated to America, but the the other other three siblings remained, and it was an. A, they were steeped in Irishness and from a very young age both Mag and Lar uh, got involved in Cunnera de Gaelga and uh, they were very big in, in, in learning the Irish language and uh, so they, they got involved in that and Lar then graduated from that to the IRB but when 1916 came around Lar decided that he was going to play a role and he had asked everybody he could including Jim O'Brien uh, if the rising was going to happen and of course there was quite a bit of confusion as you may well be aware but anyway Lar took no chances he got his shotgun he got his heavy buckshot got his trusty bicycle and rode on for Enniscarty. Uh, Lar was doing this despite the fact it wasn't populist in the area you remember that whereas uh, Kimmokridge wasn't exactly a, 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 a garrison town, but we had a substantial coast guard station. We had an RIC barracks. There was a very, very significant uh, 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 RIC presence in, in the area and the armed coast guard station. There was no comrades. There was no one riding shoulder to shoulder with you to give you false courage or anything else. You had to do it on your own. That was a hard decision. And he didn't know what he was going to meet on the road. I mean, he, he was. The, the possibility was that he, he would die. There was a distinct possibility he would be shot. Well, well Joe Quincy w w w was Lars' trusted lieutenant. He was probably one of the few men on the planet that Lars. And if you read his witness statement, they, it, it's the man he reserves on any on all of his praise for. That, that and when he he uh, got the position, was elected onto the council. The first man he appointed as commander of the battalion here was Joe Quincy. And and uh, but but Joe Quincy was uh, a very important figure in Lars' eyes, you know, uh, uh, and uh, an unsung hero in, in in many ways, because unfortunately we don't have a witness statement. And that he, he, uh, Joe went, went to England and uh, I suppose worked like many thousands of other Irish, and yet never got the reward for the work that he done here. That that that, that great-hearted work, that that selfless work. Uh, that, that to, 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 to work out a future for his own place and yet largely unsung and unheralded. Well it was a pity that if, if you think about it, what did Lar get out of? What did Jim, Jim O'Brien lost his life? Joe Quincy emigrated. Uh, 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 you know that uh, Lar ended his life as a, as a blind man uh, uh, and, and uh, that he spent the last of his life in, in our house, actually when he, he became profoundly blind and wasn't able to look after himself. And uh, uh, in fairness, my, my, my mother took him in and minded him. And, uh, but he was a gentleman and a, and a wonderful person. But uh, you know, that the, the, the price of being a hero is high, Michael. And these, these heroes, surely, uh, they, they certainly didn't get the recognition locally or at home at the time. And uh, I think it's only right now that we, we that, that we, in hindsight, that, that that we respect what they did, because their their contribution was more than significant.